Welcome everyone and everybody to Eye of the Storm, which of course is a post-apocalyptic purple. Not sure how like the apocalypse turns everything into purple, but nonetheless, this is Gorgon at its best and purple. Anyway, I always run to mid. I mean, you can call me a midiot if you want, and I won't be insulted, but I, I just... I don't know. Uh, it always seems like in the beginning at least, the Horde take two bases, the Lions take two bases, so the fight is where the flag is, and you get a couple of kills, and you kill a DK eventually. Sometime. Go on an airstrike! But yeah, uh, eventually his DK, this DK actually goes down pretty good because he doesn't know where his defenses or his heals are, of which he has plenty. Trust me on that. Leave a like if you hate DKs. Leave a like if you just don't like them that much. Leave a like if you like DKs. Anyway, just leave a like. What am I saying? Yeah, Shadow Warrior Death. You're dead. Thanks for flying. Mage time. I can't even pronounce this mage's name. I think it translates into... I'm dead. Thanks for playing, bro. We're gonna have uh, three, three warriors, one healer. We have two healers. We got off to uh, a little bit of a lead. Yeah! Right about now, the horde of rage quitting. It's 52 to 24. We're gonna lose. Bye bye, Bubble. Thanks for playing, Mr. Paladin. I just love doing that. That makes my day dispelling ice blocks and bubbles. I think I said that once before, maybe probably. I think I said it like 17 times already, but that was 18. And there's an untimely cyclone. I wonder if there's like an add on that like cyclones people, you know, at the worst possible time. Somebody should make, like, a troll add-on like that. All you add-on junkies out there, make a cyclone troll add-on. But there is an add-on, some sort of add-on that's illegal in WoW, and I've been seeing it a lot. Wow, that mage just blew that guy up pretty big. Dead warlock. And here's the mage again, whose name I can't pronounce. Who? I'm not sure how that translates into orc, but I think it says, Please buy me some Girl Scout cookies. I could be wrong about that. But here we go. More time, bubble time. Goodbye, bubble. Thanks for playing. Oh, he's immune. Yeah, he's got that immunity after he uh, gets out of his ice block, which is actually pretty good, pretty good thing to have. I, I'm not sure if that's baseline or it's glyphed. But yeah, goodbye, Mr. Paladin. I was gonna call him a Paladin. It's like, oh gee, yes, looks you can tell colors. Purple, pink. Look who it is, it's the mage again. Whose name translates, I think in Goblin it translates into, has anybody seen my gerbil? Or I might be wrong about that too. And he's just dying again. He does that really well, don't you guys think? I think he dies pretty well. He's good at it. One thing he's good at the game, he can die very well. In BGs. But yeah, we're uh, losing by a little bit, and we only have one base, but we have the flag, so it's really no big deal at this point. Gonna go help out at Drenai Ruins. Looks like the Horde are putting some pressure over here, so we're just gonna kinda hide somewhere and try to kill everybody, like this Paladin. Call me, call me Kill Stealer. How do you say Kill Stealer in Indian, in American Indian? I, I actually figured this out, I Googled it. It's douchebag. <laughs> That's how you say Kill Stealer in American Indian. Then again, I, th I think it's like lost in translation sometimes. I'm not exactly sure. But everybody gets a dot here. I'm an equal dot, you know, provider. Dot for everybody. As everybody just kind of forgets the Shadow Priest is there. Oh, there's a bad DK. Yes, I'm the one who takes that. What is that talent? Uh, God, I forgot the name. Is it Purgatory? I don't remember the name. Where, you know, DKs only have like one health left and they get to like fight for another three or four seconds. One of the dumbest abilities a DK could ever choose. I always know I see a bad DK when I know they have that talent in PvP. You're just not going to convince me it's got a useful function, except maybe in threes if you're with, you know, a healer that really can bring you back up to health. But otherwise, pfft, I just don't get it. Even in twos, yeah, with a healer, of course. But it just, I don't know. Lick, Lickborn is just so much better just because of the leech. And it's, you know, giving you three different ways, you know, that you could either avoid or trinket a fear. You know, most classes only have one. Some have maybe two ways to trinket a fear, but a fucking DK has three ways. You know, a DK just has, like, a choice of how he wants to trinket something or how he wants to kill something. And not other, 
no other classes have that kind of choice in the game. And and I and that once again is bad game design. You know, I was picking on paladins in my last video, my last new PvP video. Now I'm picking on DKs. You know, it's just poor game design. And my theory is the flavor of the month, where are you going, dude? Where where are you going? Where are you going? What do you like, Far Scump? You know, everywhere I go, I was running. Yeah, running. You just, where are you going? Now you're dead. Now I know where you're going. You're going to the graveyard. Like a sing it like a bard. Going to the graveyard. Because PvP is hard. I always find myself in the graveyard. Yes, Luxley can rap. That was just like off the cuff rapping. Uh, guys, give me a break. Hold on, I gotta kill these two people mid. Shadow Word Death. Shadow Word Death. And Shadow Word Death for you too. I'm sharing my death with everybody. It's a beautiful thing. I get to share with so many people. But what are your thoughts on the current state of, of DKs? Yes, they've been nerfed a little bit. Um, they've been brought down a little bit. You know, now it's, you know, you got maybe a... 30 70 shot of winning against one in a 1v1 but you know i think i speak as an authority on this <laughs> you know and that's a you know kind of a you know douchebag thing to say but let me let me give me a chance to explain myself here i've been doing a lot of healing on uh one of my two um, you know both of my disc priests as well as both of my miss weavers and i've been doing just random twos just getting used to healing and trying to figure out the nuances, the positioning, etc., etc. Because I'm new to healing in Arena, and I haven't really consistently healed in BGs, in Kata, and that was even something I did. Ooh, look at that! Somebody's 15 and 0. And I, and I kind of did that in Kata, but it was part time. It was never really full time. And one thing I've noticed, I just love doing twos with DKs because they don't die. It's low maintenance healing. Same same thing is kind of true with a ret paladin, especially a good ret, you know, will give you, you know, a hand of protection here and there. But the fact is, certain classes are just made for twos. Warriors, DKs, and paladins, they do very well. They pretty much, they don't necessarily start on second base. Well, I was going to say they don't necessarily start on third base, but they start on second base pretty much. You know, and they're standing there and they're like, hey guys, look at me, I'm great, I hit a double. No, you didn't, you are fucking born there. Speaking of people who are born, I finally figured out what that maze is. <laughs> what that maze? 20 no Wrecking Ball. Thank you very much. I finally figured out what that maze's name translates to. In Swahili, it means I die a lot. That's what his name means in Swahili. I googled that. You could, that's like the Bible. That's like the gospel. You could trust me on that. But I've noticed, getting back to digressing, because that's, well, I digress on getting back to the topic. DKs, I mean, I've seen them in Arena. I mean, it's very low maintenance to heal them. It really is. They have a lot of defenses. You don't even have to dispel them that much. So, yeah, I gotta say, I mean, they just have amazing survivability to the point that it's overpowered. It really is. I could deal with the damage if I could mitigate the damage, if I could get away from them. But good luck getting away from them, because they could spam fucking Chains of Ice four different times on you. And if Chains of Ice fails them, guess what? Death Grip. And if that fails, reset Death Grip. 21 and 0. And I still have time to kill people. I gotta find people to kill. I gotta kill this guy. No, I'm not. I should kill that guy. He doesn't have any health, but he's running to people where there's a lot of people on the base, so I'm all confused. Somebody, somebody give me some guidance. All right, Mage Tower, here we go. And I got the crows on me. And I think this is a bad choice. Yes, this was a bad choice. Oh, now speaking of my good old buddy, the Ret Paladin. Hello, Mr. Blunt. Uh, he pops his, uh, I'm silenced. I have no cooldowns. I got major problems. Oh, come on, dude, you're spoiling the show, man. I was going to show people I was going to go 21-0 and 0 at the very least, maybe 22-23-0, and 0, and now you're going to kill me because I got no cooldowns and I can't get away. How deflating. But the good news is as soon as we cap this flag, we're going to win. Hopefully the guy would cap. It makes sense for him to cap at maybe 14, 50, 14. And yeah, there we go. We're going to win. I just feel that winning vibe. One base, one base. 300 point differential and we have the flag and he caps and that's it alliance wins it is not an illusion i got a gold strong box 
Yay! I got a gold strong box. I bet you I get gloves for like the 40th time. Anyway, people, thanks for tuning in. Luxley saying whatever it is by you. Morning, afternoon, or night. Hey, guys, just make it great. Luxley signing out.